brace yourselves, the Hindenburg omen has just been triggered. But what does this ominous indicator mean for the stock market? Is a crash imminent or is it just a false alarm? I will also tell you how I'm making money out of this by spying on the real market positions and show you how you can do the same thing. So let's dive in. The Hindenburg omen named after the infamous Hindenburg disaster is a technical analysis chart pattern that many believe signals a potential stock market crash. But how does it work? Well, let's break it down. The Hindenburg Omen is triggered when a series of conditions are met on the New York Stock Exchange. These include the number of new 52-week highs and lows must both exceed 2.8% of the total issues traded that day. Sounds a bit abstract, doesn't it? The New York Stock Exchange Index must be in a rising trend, so it must be bullish, about to implode. There is then also the McClellan Oscillator, a measure of market breadth, like how many stocks are going up together? Is it just a few or is it a lot of them? So that must be negative. That's definitely negative right now because so few stocks are actually going up. We need also new 52-week highs that cannot be more than twice the number of the new 52-week lows. So there must be some lows coming up. And you might be thinking, it's a bit abstract, Felix. How accurate is this? Do I need to continue watching this drivel? Well, it's a rare occurrence, this omen. And when it happens, it definitely grabs attention. You're going to see a lot of videos and headlines around this. But how accurate is it really? Uh, what is the evidence that ensures the Hindenburg omen is accurate in its forecast? Well, historically, it has had a little bit of a mixed record. It was very good predicting downturns such as the 87 crash, which is major, and the 2008 housing crash, global financial crisis. And it also produced, of course, yeah, a couple of false signals. So are we looking at a false signal or a real signal right now? Well, look at, for example, the um, omens that it uh, sort of predicted in 2010 and 2012 that didn't lead to market crashes. Yeah, true. So despite the dramatic name and historical significance and the Hindenburg omen being accurate quite a lot of the time, it shouldn't be the sole indicator that's guiding your investment decisions. And let's explore why. So while the Hindenburg omen highlights market instability, it's crucial to consider other indicators and just the broader market conditions. Key things to watch out for are number one, earnings per share growth. Look at that and nothing else if you must. A rally can continue if corporate earnings continue to improve. We also have the economy as a whole to look at, GDP growth, unemployment, consumer spending, and of course, the Fed. Interest rates and monetary policy play a huge impact on the stock market. And then you have market sentiment, sort of short-term fear or greed index, like CNN puts out a pretty good decent one that gives you an in indicator of how confident we are. So what does this current market landscape actually look like? Should we be uh, digging holes, you know, stocking up on sardines and burying the children in the backyard? Well, not quite. Despite this Hindenburg omen signal triggering, there are actually positive signs out there. Corporate earnings have been robust. They're improving. We're expecting them to improve this year and next year. Companies are beating their earnings per share estimates. Economic indicators remain strong-ish, at least until November. And the economy, in my opinion, is actually weakening. But that will lead the Federal Reserve to be more supportive of growth. They will cut interest rates. They'll pump more money into the economy. And who's going to benefit that? Well, particularly the big stocks and the tech stocks and the growth stocks. But there is some mixed sentiment here. Some investors are starting to grow more cautious. Particularly, hedge funds are selling tech stocks aggressively while retail investors are buying the shares that hedge funds are selling, which is sort of the good old model, isn't it? They make money, Main Street loses money. So if you believe that Wall Street has an information edge, then it may be worth being a little bit more prudent. Now, what am I doing? 
I basically do two things. I invest in good quality stocks for the long run. And in the short term, I trade momentum, whichever way the wind blows. And for this month alone, I'm up $7,308 on a $30,000 teaching portfolio, as I say, just for June. I don't really care if the market goes up or down. And the tool I use to establish which way the market's blowing is, is Trade Vision, which shows me trends on the chart. And I'll show it to you here. Here's the NASDAQ chart. I can click on here and I can turn on the trend thing. And it shows me in red or green sort of which way we're blowing. And right now it's saying it's still looking pretty good. And it's been pretty freaking accurate when you go back over time here, right? Called sell off here, called the sell off here, and obviously the buyback in here and so on. The second thing I look at is what's Wall Street doing? What are the hedge funds doing? What are the big guys doing? And I can literally go into smart money trades here and I can see the live trades in dark pools and the private exchanges where the big investment banks trade, where the, the cockroaches of Wall Street trade, sorry, the, not the cockroaches, the uh, esteemed traders um, and investors that make this economy great. Is that believable? Probably not. Um, so you can look that up and you can also filter it, say, by, you know, what are the largest trades. Um, and you can see here 1.2 billion. And there are quite a lot of bearish trades here, right? These are all bearish. And look, these are all in the hundreds of millions of dollars. That is quite useful to look at because it gives you an insight into what they are doing. And you also get daily buy sell alerts uh, by email. Um, so you might want to grab yourself up. 30 day free trial to trade vision and see if you like it. I want to thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, well, please hit the uh, subscribe and the bell icon and, and so on. And stay tuned, share the video with somebody who might be a little bit freaked out right now and might need a little bit of calming down and check out tradevision.io. And thank you for tuning in. Charts, 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 charts. Reading stock charts is the secret to how this setup here made me 10% in the last five days. Yet everybody is making chart analysis. Incredibly complicated, maybe because they think it's complicated or maybe because they don't really understand it or they want